The alarm's just gone off and the sun is coming up just over the trees in the distance and it's the day of our trip to Venice. I would just like it noted that I am downstairs, ready to leave early. I don't know if Philip's going to make it down anytime soon, but if he does, this will be a legendary moment. Thank you. Good morning. I went full on 80s for Venice. <laughs> yeah, we were packing this morning. Thank you for coming to look after the little one. You know you're desperate when you're asking us. <laughs> <laughs> he loves you. Oh, Don't God. pretend. Isn't it a beautiful day? It is amazing. We will have a beautiful drive. Yeah, oh, so I know. Beautiful. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to go and see Kirsty whilst I'm out here because, you know, I'm ready early. This is amazing. Very Thank you. Oh, hello. I thought you were out here. You are hiding. I am. <laughs> How is everything going? Good, thank you. Nice to have a bit more warm weather. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, it's still not great, but you know, it's okay. So you've been pruning everything? I have, yes. The, getting the, the, the vines and the roses trained over the... the it looks so tidy. Oh, can we have a look? Of course you can. It's going to be so exciting in the spring when we start to see greenery on top of the pergola. Yeah. Oh yes, look at them going over. Oh, Kirsty, it looks good. It's starting to come over now. Yes. You know, imagine them all in leaf with the, the grapes hanging down. It's going to be great. Are you imagining plucking a grape as you walk past? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and is this bed carrying on along there? Yes, I think so. Um, yeah. Because um, we've been discussing a, um, a substrate to put down. Yes, a finish for the floor. So obviously I'm not sure on width or, or what you'd like as far as the bed's concerned, but I would like some colour in there. I think so too. Um, and I'm not convinced that this flooring will go down this year with everything else happening with the chapel and the Grand Salon. Precisely. It can't yeah. be right at the top of our list. Yeah, so, I mean, a, a cut edge between the grass and the earth, It's it can be as temporary as you like, basically. Yeah. It's, um, that looks good. Thank you. The big piles of stuff to clear up, but it's, it is looking better, oh, yeah. I am so excited about this. And I think they'll shoot across a surprising amount this they will year. Do. I mean, prior to this being built, I took them right back so that they weren't in the way for any construction. So they've forgiven me, luckily. <laughs> and now they're ready to go. Yeah, and now they're, they're kind of being shaped and, and retrained. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it, especially the roses. They're going to be really pretty. Yeah, I agree. That, it's so uplifting being yeah. out here. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> well, I'll come and see you as soon as I'm back. You probably yeah. will uh, be starting on the chicken coop then, won't you? Chicken coop, is, yeah, as soon as we can. That's going to go up as well. So okay, perfect. Space. <laughs> All right, see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. And now let's pop over and see if the chapel restorers have started. I I think they have. I think I saw the chapel door open. Oh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, don't they look magnificent? It turns out Wedgwood is most definitely a boy. It is incredible, isn't it? The difference between the area that they just started to clean towards the front of the chapel. Obviously, the areas that are all black, they haven't done. But that front part has been done. They're going to give me a quote for the price of carrying on the cleaning all the way around because it's making such a huge difference. I just want to carry on. Allô? Oui. Et hey, bonjour. Bonjour. Vous allez bien? Ah, vous commencez le soubassement. Alors, qu'est-ce qui se passe avec ce soubassement? Ben, le soubassement, là, on va, on va, on va refaire le, le plâtre. C'était presque tout parti. Et voilà, ce sera prêt pour la peinture. On se fait des, un système de règles. Oui. On, va, on va tirer le plâtre. Sinon, comme ça, si on le fait comme ça, sans, sans, sans règles, ben ça, va, ça va faire des, des trous. Ah, d'accord. On se sert des, des guides. C'est des guides. Pour pouvoir tirer le plâtre. Pour tirer le droit. plâtre, comme ça, c'est homogène. D'accord. Et après ça, c'est l'autre fondation. Une fondation à oui. l'extérieur. Oui. Alors, vous pouvez vous reposer un petit peu à l'intérieur maintenant. Euh, oui. <rire> Qu'est-ce que vous préférez Est-ce que ah, vous non, avez une de... chose Non, on n'a pas de préférence. Non, non, vraiment Non, non. Non, c'est juste ce qu'il y a à faire. C'est ça. Ah, ben, je serais triste de, de le rater, mais je pars maintenant. Mais euh, à la semaine prochaine. Vous, vous repartez euh, à Vienne oui, euh, Non. Euh... <rire> Mais non, ceci, c'est mon manteau pour Venise. Bon, ben, je me change, j'arrive. On fera les photos là-bas. Absolument. Je crois qu'ils ont beaucoup de restauration à faire là-bas. Au revoir. Bon, Et bonne chance avec Merci. tout ça. Oh, I'm going to miss you so much, both of you. you okay, have fun. Have fun with Lancelot. Bye. You know you're on the dot.
literally actually one minute early. This has never happened before. It's Welcome 2024, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Love you. Venice, here we come, but uh, Paris first. We're flying via Paris and we thought it's easier to just drive there, leave the car at the airport, and then it'll be there ready for us when we get back. to the airport with three hours to spare. We didn't know what to do with ourselves. This has never happened before. <laughs> It's racing me whilst I'm on the little walkway. If we use speeding up. We're not allowed to run. It's only speed walking. <laughs> Drat your legs. They're too long. Now, even though we've just arrived, it's time for my favorite part of the entire holiday, which is getting a water boat to the hotel. I just think after that, I, I could just come home again. This is the best bit, landing and going into Venice by boat. We're just arriving. I think we're going around the side to be able to go in the water gate. Here we are. This place seems magical to me. A tiny little side door in a building. A little wooden gangplank waiting to be lowered. Isn't this amazing? I'm so excited. Well, we've arrived to an unexpected change of plan. Apparently they did email, but I didn't see the email in our journey here. Apparently the room that we have ordered, which we will be moving to tomorrow, isn't available because they are restoring the historic headboard in the room. I would like it noted at this point that the work on the headboard was needed before our arrival and not after we checked out. <laughs> So instead, they've moved us to a suite with a view of the Grand Canal, which the room we're moving to doesn't have. So, well, it's great because we actually get to nose around another room as well. So I'll show you here too. Of all the places I've ever stayed in Venice, I think this is the one that reminds me most of La Lande. It's so atmospheric. It feels like a family home, doesn't it? Yes. Absolutely. And there's books in all the bookcases, things I'm super interested in. And Crisps. look at that. I didn't even need to bring the travel kettle. I even brought my mug. You get crisps, pear juice, peach juice. Also. Whilst Philip's very excited about the mini bar, this is the bedroom. We saw that actually behind the headboard there is the most beautiful marble fireplace. Let me show you with, with the uh, with the tiles. Have you seen the tiles? Oh, they are gorgeous. There's even logs in it. Yeah, I yes. love it here. Really? We've stayed here before, but, but never in these exactly. rooms. Yeah, never in either of these. And uh, this one, looking straight onto the Grand Canal. Okay, well, we have that for one morning when we wake up, Philip. We've got to make the most of it tomorrow. That's stunning. And it has that little sitting room that I showed you just as we came in. And then the quirkiest bathroom in the world around here. I've never seen this before in my life. You know when you're trying to work out how to get a shower room into a very narrow room so there's nowhere to fit the loo? Well, they've just put it right in the middle of it and you just walk past the loo to get round to the shower. Why not? It works. And they fit the shower under the stairs. Super ingenious. 
and I love the flooring, I love the wardrobe, I feel as though I've stepped back in time, I feel as though we're living in Venice. Yes, the little apartment, <laughs> yeah, I mean, kitchen's through perfect. here. And, and it's well. quite nice because we didn't book a suite, but we get to yes. try a suite for tonight. I love this ceiling, look at the stairs! We've decided that there is just time to go out for dinner. So we're going to go to Philip's favourite restaurant in Venice, which we come to every time we're in Venice because Philip is, above all things, a creature of habit. He actually doesn't like travelling all that much. And at first he was coming pretty much against his will, but because he'd rather be with me than staying at home. Um, but I think he's started to enjoy it more and more. And the more we go back to the same place, the more he loves it because it almost feels like being at home then. That's not fully true, though. I it's mean, quite true. <laughs> yes, I mean, <laughs> I might be 80 on the inside, but and actually your mother is, is 80 and she's... A lot very, younger than you. Uh, yeah, 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 mentally a lot younger. <laughs> no, but I am a little bit set in my ways. I'm a little bit of a homebody. I do not love traveling, <laughs> which I know I'm in a very... I feel very fortunate that I'm able to experience all these different things, but... I'm also very happy, maybe even at my happiest. In our apartment in Leland. Exactly, just quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I'm in my twenties. <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> well, let's see how you feel when you get back to your favorite Venetian restaurant, where you know the I menu off so by excited. heart. I know what, if it, they haven't changed it, I know exactly what I'm ordering. <laughs> they have a wine, uh, which is called Soler, and it's by a wine house called Di Stefano. <laughs> Which is very Di easy Stefani. to remem remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I wish I could. Uh, Di Stefano, <laughs> Di Stefano. And the 2020 year is very good. That's my little splurge. So I'm yeah, very, very, I'm hoping. So I mean, we'll frankly, see. you're practically bouncing. So I think you are quite excited. <laughs> but I do, what you, what you were saying is that I do enjoy going back to the same places. And then you get a little routine. I like routine. That's the thing. <laughs> I am old fashioned. <laughs> Going past all the little squares that we know so well. Coming up to the Academia Bridge, it's a wooden bridge. It's uh, not that splendid when you compare it to the Rialto Bridge. There are just three bridges in Venice. And this oh, one... Well, three bridges in Venice. <laughs> over the Grand Canal, you mean? <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry, sorry, major. Over was... the Grand Canal. Okay. <laughs> With this one, nobody could decide what style it should be. So they decided to build a temporary one to stop everyone arguing. And that was at the beginning of the 20th century. Yeah, how much Venice has this expression <laughs> replaced with another temporary one? <laughs> like three times or something? Yeah, now they've just kept it as a temporary styling. I don't know if it'll ever be changed to something else. There's a whole point of this bridge is the view. This is the spot for selfies in Venice on this bridge with Santa Maria della Salute in the background. But no time for that now. No time for selfies. Onwards. I don't want it to have shot before we get there. Actually on the way I just wanted to stop and show you something. So there's a palace there you can't really see very well but you can probably overlay a picture and it's allegedly haunted. Now I was looking into this because I've heard about it and you either get murdered uh, commit suicide or go bankrupt. I think those are the three options, but I've been looking into it and there's like 400 years between each of them. <laughs> like 200 or... Like, well, it's not that weird. You know so yeah, I mean? if you own it in the 180 year period between tragedies, yeah, you're, you're probably good. And I feel like then it's more of a coincidence rather than every <laughs> single owner. I think the last three or something are going bankrupt. I mean, all these big buildings are all money pits, right? That's probably so, why they were not bankrupt. I mean. It's not that weird. We are coming here tomorrow. I am so excited. I've yeah. never been, so yeah. I really want to see that. I keep saying I don't like travel, but then also... Okay, you start bouncing. Quite, exactly. <laughs> So maybe I put on myself as well. As well, I'm pretty glad it. that I have filmed this because next time you go, no, oh, no can't we stay at home? No. I will show you this. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is an incident, <laughs> uh, incidental experience. This is not going to be the new normal. Do you know what else I'm excited for? What? I want to have some of these little sandwiches. Little ones that uh, you get like white bread, and then they put like, for example, tuna mayonnaise in there. So tomorrow like, is sandwich and museum day. Oh, this um, this is where they sell it. That one is closed now. I'm very excited for that as well. Who is this man? What has he done with Philip? Not far now. Couple more bridges to go. Here we are. Well, hang on, I'll show everyone the church first. This is a stunning church of San Bernabé. It's actually deconsecrated now and it's the Leonardo da Vinci Museum. Just opposite it, 
Yes, but it's favourite restaurant. Do they still have the ragu? Let's just go in. Come oh, on. I want to see, I want to see. And we tell it to Nato. Cheers, darling. Happy to be reunited with the wine. And as always, I've ordered something that I have never ordered before because I like trying new things. Looks really nice. This is a creamy polenta with shrimps in cell. It's a Venetian speciality when usually sardines are marinated in vinegar, hence the sort of sour idea. But this time they've done it with shrimp and covered with red onions. There's even sultanas in the red onions, so that's that sweet, sour flavor. What is that? That is a Venetian spider crab. Empty, luckily, so I don't need to go sort of rootling round in there. But the sauce is a spider crab sauce, and the spider crab is from the lagoon, and it's homemade gnocchi. But I'm still blown away. The last course was a revelation. Oh, it was good. Uh, so I don't think this can top it, but can I show everybody what you've got? Italo Donato. Every year, the same thing. That's so good. It is actually really good. I keep trying yours, it's excellent. It's thin slices of veal with like a tuna sauce. Sauce, and obviously it was green beans. With your favourite thing in the world? Very. Mayonnaise. It's not mayonnaise, <laughs> it's a tuna sauce. In mayonnaise. <laughs> It's mayonnaise. It's very good. We've just come out of the restaurant. We didn't have dessert there. We're going to come back another night though. They're so sweet. They kept our bottle because we only drank half the bottle. They've kept it for us for our next meal, which is really lovely. Absolutely. And now I'm having a hot chocolate because it's cold and it's warm in my hands. And you, for some dark chocolate ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Cheers, yes. darling. Cheers. Look at that it's library. That is Vast library. And there's another room to the side with another library section. So More books. Yeah. What a walk home. Drinking hot chocolate that's also warming my hands and looking at that. I'm eating ice cream just putting my mouth. Have I ever mentioned that I love this city? Never. <laughs> you get that prize in the wraps. <laughs> Thank you.